if combining peanut butter and chocolate gives us a Reese's, then what does the combination of a direct output and a subgroup make? A multi-track bus. AKA a routing bus, track routing bus, record matrix, routing matrix, recording bus, output routing matrix, recording groups, and etc. Like the subgroup buses, the track buses are fed using assignment buttons, this time found at the very top of the channel strip. In its most basic scheme, pressing track bus 7 on a channel would route the signal to track bus 7 and its associated output. Pressing track bus 20 would route the signal to track bus 20 and its associated output, and so on. Pressing multiple track assignments routes the signal to multiple track buses. Now, the pan pot controls the blend between the odd and even buses, just like it did with the subgroups. And just like the direct outs, the actual tap point for the track bus might be pre-fader or post-fader. And not to get too far ahead of ourselves, on a large console there may be two faders and two pan pots, so it depends which fader and which pan has been assigned to feed the track buses. No matter, it all essentially works as shown. One of the complaints with subgroups is having to route the signal through a matrix just to get it to an output. This means potentially added noise. To give the signal the shortest and cleanest path, the track bus will usually have a direct function. When pressed, the channel output will bypass the matrix, allowing, in this case, channel 17 to directly access the track bus 17 output. When in direct mode, this track bus is removed from the matricing, and no other channels can put their signal on that particular bus. The real kicker, however, is the fact that track buses are also inputs for the channels as well. Dude, no way. You said the track buses were outputs. Yes way, and we'll take a look at that aspect of the track buses after we cover the inline mixer.